Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to Oliver Smith Watches. My name is George Reed and I'm the fine timepiece director here at Oliver Smith Jeweler. Um, I am back from Aspen, back down here in Scottsdale to show you guys something really special. Uh, this week we got in the venerable Audemars Piguet reference 15202ST. For those of you not familiar with Audemars Piguet or the Royal Oak, uh, this was the watch that changed the game. Before this watch, uh, debuted in 1971, before this watch, stainless steel luxury timepieces didn't exist. Uh, the world uh, embraced it, got sold it. Um, it was just an incredible thing to think that a stainless steel watch in 1971 cost more than a gold Patek Philippe. Um, it was truly groundbreaking. Uh, nobody really saw it coming and uh, nobody realized how much the world actually needed it. Um, this is one of the big three. Um, it is the first, it's the, the, the primary. It was uh, designed in 1971 and debuted at Basel uh, by Audemars Piguet, designed by Gerald Genta, of course, who went on to design every important watch out there. You, um, you guys all know that. The, uh, the original three pieces, uh, the Royal Oak, the Nautilus and the Overseas by Vacheron all contained the original Jaeger LeCult movement. Uh, not a whole lot of people know that um, regardless of which brand you purchased, it was you basically buying the same watch, just clad in a, in, in a different look, um, although feeling very, very similar and very familiar. This one here in the, in the 15202, you have the closest to the original that you can get. Um, this, Audemars approached Jaeger and basically said, hey, we want you to keep making the movement, but make it exclusively for us. So they housed it in the original size case, the jumbo um, at 39 millimeters. But if you've ever worn a Royal Oak, add two millimeters. Um, 39 wears like a 41, the 40 millimeter wears like a 42, so on and so forth. Um, the blue tapestry dial, AP done at six o'clock instead of 12 o'clock. It has all those hallmarks from the original, no seconds hand. It is the thinnest version of the Royal Oak as well. Um, absolutely stunning piece, a faithful representation to the original. Um, also discontinued this year, so of course prices have skyrocketed. This is a 2020 model that we have here uh, in Scottsdale. So it is the last version of the 202. Um, if you haven't seen one before, um, I implore you, please come down and check it out. Um, it, it's, it's incredibly expensive, but um, it's expensive because it's worth it. Um, it is, uh, is it the GOAT? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it probably is. It's probably the most important watch in, in, um, in modern watchmaking history. So um, if you haven't had a chance to see one, please come down, say hi. Uh, we'd love to see you. Thanks for tuning in.